friend or cantor Abraham Walken. I say, you got to come here and sit with me. And he just, he's just a beautiful man. He's always written up in the New York Post. Uh, I think the editors there know that he's a beautiful man. And he sort of symbolizes peace of mind to people. Abe, just bring us up to date. How have you been? And Well, Joe, I'm so glad you asked me again. I've been fine. I've been busy. Married off a gorgeous do daughter about two weeks ago. Getting ready for the Passover, naturally, at the hotel where I am. And uh, I feel great, and I just hope that there is peace in this world. That's all I ask. You know what you are? You're kind of an antidote to people that are Thank nervous you. and restless. Because you're, you. you know what I'm saying, Warren? There's it's so uh, much heartaches in this world, so much deception, arguments, non-trusting. Non but once and for all, let's all be well and let's be healthy what and are, have are, faith in each other. What are any ideas? You know what I always wondered, Abe? Uh, any areas of advice or, or services that people might get from their religious leader that, the, that most people overlook? They, they figure uh, a man like Abe, he's, he's good for a wedding, he's good for, for a confirmation, he's good for, uh, for, for a prayer. But, but what, what are some things that people might get from their priest or their, or their rabbi that they don't ever think about? They just overlook. You know what I'm saying, Abe? Joe, it's a perfect question. Thank you. Religion, Joe, is a devotion. It's a commitment. Right. You are committed to your faith. I go to synagogue. Warren goes to the church. And we all pray to the same God. However, within ourselves, we hope that we're doing the right thing. People just don't go into prayer because, hey, I got to get rid of it. You know, I got to <laughs> pray. I owe a prayer. Not so. That's right. You have to believe in what you say. You have to believe in what you do. Mm -hmm. And you know something, if people really had that in mind, as they enter their edifices, it would be a different world. Don't think, Mr. Uh, uh, Chazon, you're the only recording star. This man has made many, many albums. He used to sing at the Met. Oh, you know, I always want to ask a man like you. Very have, haven't many cantors through the years gone into show business? And, and, some, and some refused. I mean, some did go and course, some didn't go, course. right? Jan Pierce, who naturally I sang with him in the Met. Right. Richard Tucker, right. God rest his soul, was a cantor. Right. Kurt Baum was a cantor. Kurt Baum, right. Yes, Leonard Warren. How about, how about Cantor Rosenblatt? I once read that he was offered a job to go into show business, Warren, and, and he, he accepted the job, but, he, but one condition was he had to shave off his beard, and he wouldn't shave off his beard. Joe, yeah. principal. in 1928, right. yes. and I'm dating myself, I was a soloist in the Bronx for right. Cantor Joseph Rosenblatt. Right. Years ago, they called him Yosela, which is a Jewish name for Joseph. Right. He had a gorgeous black beard. He was about five feet two. Big fella. Big fella. And he was offered tremendous jobs. The Chicago Opera was after him for years. He would not cut his beard. Really? He certainly would not sing on the Sabbath. So this goes back a long time. But a cantor is a dedicated s you singer. Know you are. You're a dedicated man. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank I want God. cantor walk in to sit with me tomorrow. She'll just always be with Good. me. Is, 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 oh, by the way, yeah, Joe, great guy. I was at a wedding where I performed somebody played the vibraphone and I yelled out F minor who do you think the man was I give up Warren, Warren hey how something. about that would you believe <laughs> it was head on the lawn in the hotel say something nice to Lionel Hampton who might have invented this whole hey Lionel listen you're he's good. also good I gotta call you by Gates because that's what I know you and listen I'll tell you you inspired me a long time ago in Nova Scotia and I haven't forgotten it I thank you so do, much I want to do a little